Adobe released a lot of exciting new features, including generative vectors and also a lot of cool things happening with Adobe Express. This is going to show you how to create some vectors in Illustrator using the new features and then animate them in Adobe Express. Start with a new file. Then create a shape. Be square, rectangle, wherever you want it to fill into your generative AI. And that just gives a target that you can control. Great practice start by defining areas. Go to your text and vector graphics. And if you don't see that, that's under Windows, text to vector graphics. And that would also be found under your properties. Click the three dots here to break off that palette. And in the first iteration of this, it's gonna be a scene, which is the background. And I wanna start with blue sky and clouds, minimal daytime, click on generate. You have these different swatches to choose from. I'm gonna go with, I don't know, I think I wanna go with this one. For the next part, I wanna create a spaceship. And I'm gonna base that spaceship on this image. And I'm gonna base the spaceship on this image that I just imported. Going to layers, and I'm gonna make a new layer just to keep everything nice and neat, and I'll call it ship. And this is the background layer. And these are the elements that will be animated in Adobe Express in a few moments from now. Just like before, create a new box. It's gonna be created on this ship layer. This is the style picker tool and click on it and click on anything out on your canvas, such as this. And the selected style has been added to your style picker. I'm creating a subject, which is just an object, now a whole scene. Under this icon, you can control the level of detail. Could keep it at three. And click on generate, wait, before you do that, I need to type in spaceship. Now click on generate. Deleting this reference material for continuing. Just gonna go in here, select the background and delete that. And I'm deleting these extra clouds. Time to explore Adobe Express. And that means exporting this. Now you can import the Illustrator file a lot quicker and simpler if you add these items to your library. So going to your layers palette and clicking on the circle right here at the end, we'll select everything on that layer. I'm selecting the background layer, going to libraries, clicking on create new library. I'm gonna call this tours to the moon. Create, drag this asset to here. And now I'm going to go to layers and click on the ship layer like this. And that selects everything on the ship layer. Go into libraries and drag that to here. You can rename it. BG for background and ship. And that's all you have to do. And now jump to Adobe Express to animate your artwork. Go to Adobe Express online, express.adobe.com and start a new project. I'm gonna select social media, Instagram square, create from scratch, click on my stuff, click on brands and libraries and go to Tours to the Moon, which is the library I created in Illustrator to contain my artwork. Drag out the background. And I'm gonna resize that. Clicking off in this space so I can select my next object, which is the spaceship. And also drag that out, resize it as you want. Get add a little animation and then download it. You could click on effects and maybe you want to change up the color. So select an effect that you want and you could go none, grayscale, whatever makes you happy here. Going back, selecting animation. Let me click on in and we have the in animation. Maybe it drops down or drips in like this. You can control how many seconds that takes. Nice slow drift or quickly it arrives. 
This is a quick tour to the moon, so I'm going to have energetic selected. You can have soft, smooth, strong as the different animation in types. I'm going to use this one, going back to animations, and under animation here, to have a little looping going on, and you can have the spaceship breathe a little bit. Now the full story thus far is slides in and then breathes a little bit. Maybe it grows like this. Drifts in, breathes a little bit, and then grows and fades away. If you want to change up some of this animation, you could select breathing and delete it. And for the looping, maybe replace it with jittering. See what blinking looks like? Nah. Oh, yo-yo. Yo-yo looks fun. All right, you're all done with your scene. It's time to get it out there on the web. I'm clicking on download. Now that you previewed it and you keep on editing this, click on download, where you can pick the file format. And I want this to be a uh, MP4, which is a video file. Keep it the same size as the original, or you can switch up the sizes and click on download. And when it's downloaded, you can preview that file by just going to your download folder, clicking on it, and then playing the animation. And that's your brief demo of creating new art in Illustrator using generative vectors, and then bringing it into Adobe Express using your library and animating it here, and then downloading the video to go share wherever you like to share it.